G'day guys, welcome back. This week I start the process of blacking out the interior of the patrol. I get into some cleaning, painting and refitting of some panels and show just how easy it is to completely transform the look of your car. Hope you enjoy. This is underneath the centre console area. As you can tell, it is feral, even after giving it a quick vacuum. It's pretty gross to see what over 20 years worth of use looks like, but vinyl is going to be going in this anyway to replace the carpet so it will hopefully get rid of this filth and probable smell that this is causing so i'm not too stressed about it see it's looking good no little drip lines in it plastic's a bit all scuffed up but it looks really really nice done a really good job at it i reckon just starting the reassemble process now it's all nice and dry a little bit later in the day now, but it has come up a tree. It has. Actually, looks quite nice. All blacked out. We'll see how it looks when we put it all back into. If any of you are wondering, it looks like you're gonna have to probably buy maybe five or six cans just to do the plastics throughout your car. To do roof vinyl, I'm not too sure yet. I will be doing that in the future, so we'll see how we go with that. But I'm assuming it will probably be two to three cans just for the roof liner. Time for reassembly now, since I didn't actually show you how to take it out. So there's screw there, screw there, and there'll be two screws, one here and one there. I'll just quickly put these ones in. And I'll grab the next piece. Next piece put on is this little center shroud bit. Just make sure handbrake is pulled up. That does make it easier. And it goes this way in. There's the magical number. Don't forget to plug in little connectors down the bottom. in one screw goes underneath in the middle two screws is one on this side and then one on this side once the screws are in chuck a little ashtray in so it's quite nice next up is the lid i've already put the hinge on just hinge just there and then obviously that bit goes in there make sure if you're planning on doing this yourself you have the hinges on the right way you see how this bit's got a little bit down the bottom here that goes down otherwise you will not be able to put on your top and don't just try force it because it will break something beers on just chucking these bits here on now. They like stop it your thing from opening too far. And I'll get back when I've got them on. That's it, pretty much all in. Looks heaps better than the factory. Alright, next step is to order some more paint so I can do my doors. This is like what I've currently got. Probably seen what they look like a couple of times. This is what I've got. So they're going to be going black too. Plan is the roof to go black, match, make it just completely black out the car, give everything a decent clean. That looks really nice now. Matches everything. I've already taken that door card off, trying to get as much as I can out of this can, but it looks like I'm going to get out of spray a little bit more. We're in the back now. I've already done this side. I quite like how it looks. But I'm going to be doing this side now. And I've also bought a gas strike kit for it. So we'll be adding that in it as well. And we might as well jump straight into it. We'll start painting these panels. I've 
given them all a clean and wax them very smoother and I've given them a light rub down. Ent and everything which is what it recommends. I don't have the luxury of undercover area. It's all painted quite nice now. Looks quite quite good. We've got to chuck it in now. So to put it all back together, just pretty much do everything you did, take it apart and just exactly the same back. Just you still want to be careful with the cardboard. Because it will break if you put it in wrong and it's quite delicate. Make sure the holes line up properly. Like this one here is not. There we go. Nice and in. We're getting the other parts. Back's coming together quite nice. One of my jocks hanging out. Yeah, it's coming together quite nicely now. This is how you actually take apart the door. So this is the rear rear driver's door, but both the rear doors are the same. All you do is you take this screw out the right where behind the handle is. And you just pop out this video. Little plastic bit that goes around. Goes around where the handle is. You just pop it out just like this. Next bit you go to the back, lift it up at the back, and it'll just pop straight off. This bit you lift back. Sometimes it's a bit of a little bit of a pain. To do these bits, because there's a little like hook in here. Helps to unplug it as well. little hook here is what it gets stuck on. Next you just simply undo the three screws that go along the center piece here. Start at the bottom. What you want to do, if you've got a trim, plastic trim tool it's almost better, but you can just get a flat blade in behind where the, the orange clips are, the body clips are. If you pry back a tiny little bit, don't go too hard because you will break the old cardboard. You just pull it back. Once it's all back, lift it straight up. That's how you take it out. With actually cleaning down. So I've taken everything all apart and I'm just using well, wax and grease remover and rubbing alcohol to clean it and I let it dry and then I'll spray the first coats on it like I have down here and I'll crack onto that. I've taken apart the actual door card so I've got this is the bottom piece, this bit here is the top piece, obviously that's where the arm and then there's where the switches separate them all so I can paint them all nicely and clean them all nicely. I've already started cleaning it but in all the grooves and especially in there it's all really dirty and you want to make sure everything's super clean. There's little bits there are just stains so I can't really get that 
them off. It's all clean, all the grease is removed. And just take the carpet off. And it's ready to be sprayed. Everything's laid out nice and clean. I've got all the screws here. Ready for when I can put it back on. Pretty much just gonna do this another another two more times as I've already done my rear passenger door. The key I believe to make it look nice is lighter coats. And just keep going through. Just to compare it to what it looks like it looked like before that's it there this brings us to the end of part one of this series we are about halfway through the transformation in the next video we completely strip the interior ready for vinyl finish off blacking out the rest of the panels and also do the roof lining don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you would tackle this yourselves